Andy Young, it's always been a weird city for me. Always snobbish, always secretive, and just a little bit spooky. But it's also a very good place to understand the tensions in France right now. Everyone's still reeling from the terror attacks of the 7th of January. This is a country still deep in trauma. Most crucially, for all the white noise from the politicians, nobody knows what's really going to happen next. Back in the early 80s, I still remember wearing that shirt. Got a catch back in the day. I lived here at 81 Rue de Marseille, a scruffy apartment in one of the most run-down parts of Lyon. Even back then, as a young student freshly arrived in France from Liverpool, I had the sense that this was a very deeply weird place. When I first got here, it was a shock. I'd just come from Manchester University, and I was used to listening to the Smiths and a certain amount of beery left-wingery. But here, it was like going through the looking glass. It seemed to be the norm to hate Jews, blacks and Arabs. But if I was shocked by the racism of the students, it suddenly got worse. What I didn't know, but then I slowly learned, was that this was a hotbed of negationism. In other words, a whole load of the teachers here were all about propagating Holocaust denial. This is Dieudonné. He's not only one of the most popular comedians in France, <laughs> he's also notorious as the fella who promotes the quasi-fascist salute called the Canel. Dieudonné's played a big role in making racial hate acceptable in France. Here's one of his sketches, taking the mickey out of Holocaust survivors. Note the Jewish skullcaps. Je suis juif par euh, ma mère. The man sitting next to Dieudonné is Robert Forisson. Astonishingly, he was a former professor of literary theory at the University of Lyon. Je sais que vous avez perdu 172 personnes de votre famille. Je comprends donc cette émotion qui vous étreint très fort. Excuse me. Forisson is notorious as a negationiste. This is the French word for Holocaust denier. With Forisson as his sidekick, Dieudonné has been transmitting Holocaust denial as an acceptable belief amongst his mass public. Dieudonné's public is in the bon lieu. Ce qui est affligeant, ce n'est pas Dieudonné, c'est tous ceux qui se précipitent pour assister au spectacle de Dieudonné. Il a tourné en dérision les Juifs et la Shoah. It's effectively a crime in France to deny the Holocaust. So what Dieudonné is really doing is testing the limits of free speech in France. He's been on trial for posting this message, ridiculing the victims of January's attack. Dieudonné argues that he's exposing the hypocrisy of the state, which allows the Prophet Muhammad to be caricatured, but forbids mockery of the Shoah. Lyon in particular has never been a good place for Jews, but it's never been so bad for a long time. Last summer, two teenage girls were arrested after allegedly planning on social media to carry out a suicide bomb attack on this synagogue. The chief rabbi of Lyon says he regularly receives death threats. C'était des lettres avec l'image des déportés et des croix gammées. Cela va du de, du sale juif. Ça, il y a le Heil Hitler dans les rues. Des agressions verbales, des agress, agressions physiques. On est obligé de faire de nos synagogues des presque des forteresses. The rabbi says that the Jewish community is targeted by two different forms of anti-Semitism. C'est-à-dire l'extrême droite qui a des groupes, des groupuscules très actifs, mais je pense qu'il est aujourd'hui, je dirais, minoritaire par rapport à le, au nouvel antisémitisme de, de l'islam radical. Le problème des juifs aujourd'hui, s'il y a un antisémitisme, il vient des arabes, des musulmans. Notre antisémitisme à nous, c'est pas d'aller les tuer pour ce qu'ils sont. Un an déjà que nous avons lancé les cariatides. This is a new group of hardcore female Catholic nationalists called Les Cariatides. They're to the right of the National Front. Using Joan of Arc as their symbol, they're not that keen on Jews, Muslims, or anyone who isn't Christian and French. We want to burn for our France because we are viscerally attached to France. Ce torchon, parce que c'est un torchon, Charlie Hebdo, ce torchon est en fait euh, scatophile, blasphématoire et, euh, et vraiment de gauche. Et donc, euh, ironie du sort, euh, ces hommes qui étaient donc des antiracistes notoires 
euh, sont morts par euh, bah, finalement euh, l'invasion euh, immigration. The real danger of the right-wing underground in Lyon is that it stands in such sharp contrast to the multiracial composition of its population. I head out to the suburbs, the so-called sensitive areas of Lyon, to Le Manguet in Venetia. Since the 1960s, Lyon has been the most Algerian city in France. This was the population that came here after the Algerian War of Independence. Murad Ben Shalali, the son of Algerian immigrants, grew up here. On a souvent parlé de l'islam comme un problème. Et c'est vrai que beaucoup de, de, de musulmans ont eu le sentiment qu'on voulait faire de leur religion un problème. Et qu'on ne pouvait pas, ils se sont fabriqués la conviction qu'on ne pouvait pas être un bon français si on était à la fois musulman. Et que euh, dans l'identité française, l'islam n'avait pas sa place. À l'âge de 19, Murad ran away to Afghanistan. Et un few months later, il ended up in Guantanamo prison, a suspected terrorist. He was prisoner 161. Released after four years, he then spent another year in the French prison of Fleury. Back home in Lyon, as he tries to rebuild his life, he now spends much of his time talking to young people about his experiences. I tell them my story, that's all. I tell them my life. I don't judge anyone, actually. I'm not in the judgment. Even those who come today for the series, I don't judge them. I simply tell them that they are in the error, that it's an error of the journey, that it's not a good idea to go. And I tell them why. Il vous écoute alors Oui, il m'écoute parce que et la symbolique de Guantanamo est très forte. A lot of the people Morat talks to are thinking about Syria. Moi, j'ai parlé avec des mamans dont les enfants sont en Syrie. Euh, des mamans aussi dont certains m'ont dit bah, « Tiens, mon, mon fils veut partir, ma fille veut partir. » Donc j'ai pu discuter avec eux. Et ces gamins me disent qu'ils se, se sentent abandonnés. Ils ont besoin qu'on leur parle. Beaucoup de jeunes qui disent euh, ils se sentent mal. C'est un mal à l'aise, un mal-être souvent de cette jeunesse. It's hard to imagine a lovelier scene than this. These kids are playing footy like kids play footy all over the world. But down there in Lyon, discrimination and racism come sooner or later to everybody with an Arabic name. How long before these kids run into that invisible wall? Vous êtes supporté de Barcelone or Real Madrid. Real Madrid. In Venice, the unemployment rate amongst the young is 40%. A story of prejudice, of class, race and faith. If we call Mourad, it's more difficult to find a job than if we had a Spanish name. And without being victimized. But it's also a reality. Back in the city centre, in the beautiful old quarter of Lyon, you're a world away from Venice. This is a gentrified place but well, this part of the city is also known as a meeting point for extreme right-wing groups. Armand de Creuse is a left-wing politician who campaigns against the growing racism in this city. Et il y a un fond, un fond d'extrême droite très puissant à Lyon, et là on, on les a dans toutes les, leurs, leurs composantes. Et la matrice de tous ces groupuscules qui, qui pullulent à Lyon, la matrice, c'est le Front National. Le fond de, de, de l'extrême droite ici, ça combine les deux, ça combine de l'antisémitisme et de l'islamophobie. Il faut former la jeunesse, l'éduquer dans cette compréhension que le juif n'est pas l'ennemi des musulmans et que les musulmans ne devraient pas être les ennemis des juifs. Ils voient dans tout juif un soldat israélien qui attaque Gaza. Aujourd'hui, on essaye aussi de euh, diviser les gens, diviser les communautés. Je ne pense pas que ce soit une bonne chose. Simplement, je pense que on a tous une part de responsabilité là-dedans. I am my journey in Fourvière, the cathedral whose silhouette dominates the Lyonnais skyline. And what have I learned coming back here 30 years on? I think it's all to do with what you might call a politics of atmosphere. In other words, this is a place of conflicted and conflicting identities. It's as if the French universal theory of liberté, égalité, fraternité just doesn't fit all of its citizens in the 21st century. And Lyon is living proof of that. The French Republic's been under assault since the 7th of January, not just by terrorists with Kalashnikovs, but also by older, equally dangerous ideas. It's as if the poison in French history is now seeping into daily life.